So this is a black pine snake. Yeah. Little male. Interesting scales on it. Yeah, they've got real keeled scales. They have mm -hmm. a lot of, uh, they're real thick and keeled. Yeah. They're, uh, they're very similar to gopher snakes and bull snakes. They're all part of the pitcher yeah. family. Nice. These guys are from like the Alabama area. Sweet. All right. I brought this girl from home. It's a false water cobra. She's a super hypo false water cobra. Yeah, Pretty rad saying one. She's got yeah, colors she's, that she's, I don't yeah. really see. Yeah, so she's really cool. Uh, I brought her from home just to show you guys. Um, I've got a bu I've got a bunch of false water cobras at home, and uh, this is one of my favorites. Yeah, she's pretty. Yeah, she's pretty red. Let's see if I can get her to let me rub her neck a little. Thing there. See the flares up? Yeah. You see a little bit of flaring going yeah. down. She's she's really mellow, so she hasn't hood up on me much. But yeah, you can kind of. Rat in here, she would chase it. Yeah. Oh, a little bit, a little bit of hooding. She's not showing off today. I I got some of it though. That's for sure. <laughs> Love it. Yeah, she's really rad. Nothing like a snake with some personality, right? Man. There, she's <laughs> fast. Yeah. Oh, she's uh, she sweet. Girl. It's the indigo, huh? Yeah, so this is a so this is a Mexican red tail indigo. What? She's not too happy with me right now. Mm -hmm. She's like, why are you messing with me, dude? So uh, these this one's produced by black pearl reptiles. They're uh, dry marcon rubidus. And they're actually the one of the largest dry marcon species. Uh, I've, I've seen some up to 20 pounds, and this is a young female. I think Anthony needs to hold a blackhead. No. I think you have to. Yeah, they're, they're, they're yours. <laughs> you got long jacatas too. So here we got a pair of western uh, blackheads. These are uh, the westerns are a little lighter in color overall, stay a little bit smaller in general. Uh, the easterns are a little bit darker, get a lot bigger. These guys are both full-grown adults, and uh, and they're ready to rock and roll. <laughs> yeah, they do eat other snakes and lizards in the wild. It's their primary diet. Pretty much whatever they can grab and overpower in the wild is what they eat. The, so an interesting fact, the reason why their head's black is where they're from the outback, it gets cold in the winter. Uh -huh. And uh, so they'll they'll stay in a burrow and they'll put their head Just out the head, burrow. Huh? <laughs> and, uh, and the, the black attracts heat and yep. it gets them, gets their brain thinking, gets them yeah. thinking on their toes so that way they can, uh, you know, take on prey or Avoid danger, and that's uh, that's why their heads are black. Sweet. It also disguises them in the burrow. So this is a uh, this is a Peruvian long-tailed boa. They're uh, boa constrictor longicata, and these guys are from the T Tumbes region of Peru, which is a like a dry coastal, uh, like arid area on the on the coastal side of the mountains on the range of Peru that goes down next to Chile. And these guys are from like a kind of like a dry, deserty almost area right on the beach. And uh, and they get real dark since it's a little bit cooler there. They they typically get darker as they get older, so they can absorb more heat. Uh -huh. And um, so that way they're easy to heat up. So what is this guy? So this is guy's a. Uh, 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 Cyclura Lewisi hybrid. And these guys are uh, blue Cayman Island iguanas. Sweet. A Cyclura Lewisi hybrid. Is this that one lizard that's in that one like video where it almost gets eaten by a bunch of those little snakes and manages to get away? Very similar. Up? That oh, video's yeah. dope. Yeah. That's, that's, that's the coolest documentary, even though it's kind of sad. Yeah. And then these are all, uh, so this is Australian water dragon. You can probably. Will he let you no, take him out? No, look, no. He's gonna bite my yeah, yeah. Oh, look at him, look at him, look at him, he thinks he's tough. <laughs> Dude, his, eyes, his eyes all flared up. I know.
It's okay, I ain't gonna food. Don't like her, the girl. What kind of monitor is this? It's a water monitor. Yeah. yeah, she's like, where's the food at? It's feeding time, buddy. Now are these all the ones you're keeping or are you selling? Yeah, these are all uh, these are all keepers. So yeah, this girl sweet. actually fed us on Blackfoot Dragon though this year and uh -huh. dropped some eggs, but we nice. scattered them all around the cage and they went bad until we found them. Um, these are Razor Upper Head Black Dragon females here. Sweet. And this was supposed to be a girl, but that's looking more male every day. Yeah. And just let them, let them chill, let them grow. Yeah. They're all nice and warm, waiting for their food. Yeah. Endless appetites on these things. Oh man, they eat every day. So this is a uh, Marook. It's awesome. Gorgeous. Yeah, that's a killer, killer blue tongue. She's like, oh, let me back on my hands. <laughs> <laughs> I've had enough of you guys. Yeah. Man, that's gorgeous. So this is an exantic carpet. Kind of have the same color as the DPI Xanthic Ball Python. Yeah, huh? Definitely. Yeah. I've always loved the heads on these things. Yeah, they got beefy heads. Yeah. And then their um, their heat pits come up the sides of their mouth. They look like a skull. Yeah, they're pretty rad. <laughs> She's like, like is that wants to eat it. Yeah. Is that my lunch? <laughs> True ghost. True ghost. So, uh, Xanthic hypo? Yeah, so yeah. it's, uh, I believe it's Evans hypo Xanthic. Nice. It's really good. Oh man, that thing's pretty. Yeah, I, I really, it almost looks like a DPI snow boa. This is just a, just a really killer albino. It's a, it's posset exanthic, Dutch hypo and caramel. <laughs> You're such a tough hog nose. Right. And there's a snow. So this is just a normal, but it's a 100% head exanthic, poset, Dutch hypo, albino, and caramel. Wow. It's gorgeous. Yeah, it's a real killer looking one. I like it a lot. Here's a cool looking anaconda that's a 50% head exanthic. Nice killer pink hue if you can catch that. That is cool. Yeah, it's a killer looking little exantic too. Nice and silver. Yeah, they seem to ride because of their personality. Yeah, they're so cool. Mm -hmm. 